Now we will introduce the online PDF maps that show the census tract boundaries, census tract coding along with labels, and other map features to assist with the review of the 2020 census tract coding. These maps are not available in printed form and are not for use for any reason other than reviewing the 2020 census tract codes. You will need to interactively use these on screen or download the county-based 2020 census tract review code maps for later use from the PSAB website. These maps will allow you to more easily scan and review the coding scheme to ensure any long-standing or existing coding patterns are maintained throughout the 2020 census PSAP process. The verification phase is the last opportunity for you to review and correct errors to census tract codes before the final 2020 tabulation geography is created. These maps are found within the 2020 Census PSAP Verification Materials section on the PSAP website, as we reviewed earlier in the training demonstration. There are currently two types of online PDF maps. We will review the online PDF tribal maps in a separate training demonstration. From the drop-down menu, within Choose a State to View, select the name of the state in which the county to review is located. Once selected, the system will route you to an FTP directory for your state. There you will see the individual PDF files for each county within the state. The file naming convention is as follows. PSAP V20 CT followed by the five digit state and county FIPS code listed at the bottom of the verification announcement. Click the file name to open the map directly on screen. Feel free to save the file to your local drive for later use by using the Save As functionality. Ensure that you have Adobe Reader or Adobe Acrobat to preserve the map symbology and readability. Here is a 2020 census tract code review map of Ramsey County, Minnesota. At first glance, the maps contain a data frame and the map border. The map border includes the title, basic map elements, including the scale, north arrow, and legend, entity information, and information about the map sheets. First, we'll review the map legend. The legend contains a lot of information you may find on a typical road map, such as legal boundaries, roads, waterways, and areas for specific land use, but also includes PSAP-specific information, such as CDP and census tract boundaries. The data frame shows the map of the entity. Zoom and pan around the county to ensure that the census tract coding aligns with expectations, checking to see that any long-standing or existing coding patterns remain intact. Here, just above the legend along the border of Ramsey and Dakota counties, the census tract is 376.02, and it is adjacent to census tracts 376.01, 375, 366, and 367. As you complete your review, make note of any 2020 census tract coding errors. Continue to do a complete review of the county until all census tract codes have been reviewed and confirmed. However, do not delay notification to the Census Bureau about corrections you uncover while you conduct a complete review of the county or counties. We will discuss this in the next section of this demonstration. This concludes our introduction to the 2020 Census Tract Code Review Maps. You will need to use GUPS to correct an errant census tract code. Please review the 2020 Census PSAP Verification Respondent Guide, G810, for detailed instructions on how to complete the correction or corrections. If you did not complete a comprehensive review before indicating to the Census Bureau corrections are forthcoming, you can now continue using TigerWeb and the online PDF maps to complete a more detailed review.